Hi guys, my name is Fidalgo and welcome to Game News. Uh, so my voice is still bad. I am better, but my voice is still terrible. So I'm really sorry if I sound kind of weird on the video, but you know, that's the price to pay. Uh, I'm always here bringing you fresh news. So please uh, subscribe to the channel, leave a like. My channel is new. I, I pretend to grow on YouTube and with your help, that can happen. So please leave a like, comment something down below and subscribe to the channel. Peace. Naughty Dog is taking game direction tips from Elden Ring. According to Neil Druckmann, games like Elden Ring and Inside have been catching his attention for their unique approach to storytelling. Guys, instead of relying on traditional narrative, these games use the environment and the gameplay to tell their stories, leaving players to piece things together for themselves. Something that we as players have been asking for years, and that's why, for me at least, Elden Ring is one of the best games ever made. And Druckmann, in the interview with the Washington Post, said this. Intrigued by stuff like Elden Ring and Inside that doesn't rely as much on traditional narrative um, to tell its story. Um, and is, I think there's some, some of the best storytelling in The Last of Us. Yes, a lot of it is, is, is in the cinematics. But a lot of it is in gameplay and moving around the space and understanding the hi a history of a space by just looking at it and examining it. And to me, that's some that's right now is some of the best joy I get out of um, games that trust their audience to figure things out that don't hold their hand. Um, that's the stuff I'm really intrigued by going forward. And again, it doesn't mean we will never have dialogue or cutscenes. I think those like those are tools in your toolbox. While Naughty Dog has not revealed yet what projects they are currently working on, we know that they are developing a multiplayer version of The Last of Us. But whatever they have in store, for me, it's clear that they will continue to push the boundaries of storytelling in games. And think about this for a moment. The amazing storytelling of The Last of Us with the freedom and amazing gameplay of Elder Ring. That's gonna be a banger. Unusual ways of playing Elder Ring. Guys, have you heard of the God Run? Well, for those who are not in the Souls community, there are challenging feats where players beat every slowboard game without taking a single hit or dying. But there is another type of run called the Deadless Dude run. And this is where the Twitch streamer Dr. Decomposing beats every slowboard game without dying but using an electric saxophone. Yes, you heard that right. Dr. Decomposing plays the sax to the tone of whatever monster he needs to defeat. Dungeons and Dragons is getting a Paramount Plus show. Guys, I have some exciting news for all the Dungeons and Dragons fans out there. Paramount and Hasbro have announced that a live action series of Day Day is coming to Paramount Plus. That's right, it's not just a game anymore, it's going to be a show. The series has already been relied for 8 episodes and is based on a pilot script from the filmmaker Marshall Turner. Guys, this collaboration between E1 and Paramount makes a lot of sense, as they are also co-production and co-financing the upcoming Dungeons and Dragons film Honor Among Thieves. This new series is rumored to be E1's largest scope TV project ever, and they hope that it will kickstart an entire Dungeons and Dragons universe, including multiple projects such as scripted and unscripted shows. In my opinion, the timing for this new series couldn't be better, as Dungeons and Dragons has never been more popular in the mainstream media and that we have to say thanks to the Stranger Things and the Critical Role show. Tabletop RPGs is no longer just for nerds, and if Other Among Thieves is successful, this live action series could be a massive hit. And I think that even if the film doesn't do well, the show may still have a chance to be a hit with the fans. Paramount Plus have already proven that it can produce good adaptations with the popular Halo series and Thurber has shown that he's a great filmmaker with his Red Notice film which actually became the most watched Netflix film of all time. And so, get those dice ready and let's hope that this series is going to be amazing. 